So my name's Ricky Woodhouse, I work for McCain Foods and my job is a storage manager. The biggest problem we've got with storing potatoes is sustaining the quality of the product. Whether the loads come on site, we sample them to make sure they're in spec for what we require. And it's just sustaining that quality during the duration of the storage period. That way when it comes to taking out a store, we can ensure the quality is what we expect for our customers. So one of the issues we have is with sprouting within store, because as potatoes are sprouting, you're using the energies of the potato and you can have a definite effect on the quality. So we need to sustain that the potatoes are staying in a dormant state. We're looking at holding them at a low temperature and then using a the suppression to ensure that the sprouting stays down. I find the strain easy to use because it's a simple system. Once the generator is set up and you have your probes in place, it's just letting the system run and you're just monitoring it. We have one in each store, approximately 2,000 tonne of potatoes each. The key benefits of a strain is the simplicity of the machines. What I'm pleased to say is over the duration of using it, and it's been approximately three years now, I find it a very easy machine to use. Anyone with minimal training can operate them. You can set them up in your store quite flexibly. Um, and then it's, again, it's the access to the potatoes once the saturation levels have been reached. The results are where we would expect them to be, and we haven't yet seen any issues with it. So it's doing the job that we expect it to do. So with a strain on marker 1 to 10, at this stage I'd call it an easy, easy 10. It's an easy system to use, it's effective, and even now when I speak to growers regarding suppressions, it's one of the ones that I tend to mention that we're using, and I'd definitely recommend it for use for a grower base. Mm -hmm.